Satoshi woke up one day and said, I'm going to create Bitcoin. And I woke up one day and said, I'm going to create my own token. Welcome to my land of crypto, where crypto is simplified. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own token and how to add it to blockchain, how to verify it, and the differences between a token and a coin. Let's go to my laptop. So in order to develop your own token or to code your own token, you need a few things. And I did write a blog post. So all you'll do, you just link the link on the video description and then it'll take you to this blog post. So where I explain what you need. So these are the three things that you will need. You will need MetaMask. You will need a rep stand, You will need Remix and Theram um, IDE. So all of this, I have the links you can just click. So you just click that one link and it will take you to this blog post, which will help you more to understand what a token is all about. So there's a difference between a token and a coin. So a coin is something like your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, and BNB for but from Binance. So to create your own token, you will need few things. So I did write a blog post. You just click a link, and then it will take you to the site where you will have all the things that you will need. So for example, you need a MetaMask, you need Repstain, you will need a Remix IDE. So all of this I did state in this blog post. But we need to understand the difference. There is a difference between a coin and a token. So a coin is something like your blo your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your BNB from Binance. So, so those ones, they do have their own blockchain. So a token doesn't have its own uh, blockchain. So they use other people's blockchain. So for example, now we're going to create a token, but we don't own a blockchain where we go environment, where we're going to create this. So we are going to use an Ethereum uh, blockchain. So that's the difference between a coin and a token. Um, token doesn't have its own uh, blockchain. We use uh, other people's uh, blockchain. So for example, we can even use a BNB uh, blockchain. So I'll do another video where I show you how to create a token using BNB blockchain. So that's the difference between the two. So the token that we're going to create, it is an ERC-20 token. So ERC-20 is just the standard that is defined like a set of functions to be implemented by all ERC-20 tokens. So that's just the standard. You don't need to worry too much about it. So let's just start creating our coin. So for example, this is the coin that I want to create. And this is my coin. It's called L Focus. So that's the name of my coin. So we are going to create this and this coin will be implemented in Ethereum blockchain and people can buy this coin. So we're going to do this in a test environment because um, you cannot go into a live environment and we will only deploy to a live environment once we've tested, once we see that our coin is working. So let's go to these three things that we need. Let's start with MetaMask. So MetaMask is just an extension, a Chrome extension that you need to get from um, Chrome Web Store. So let's just go there so you can see um, how to get your MetaMask. And then it opens. So you need to search for MetaMask. So this is just like a wallet address for desktop. And you can, other people like they'll use maybe um, Trust Wallet and all these other uh, wallet addresses on their phone. So this one is mainly for desktop. So as you can see, mine is already there. So when you click yours, you just click here and then it will get added into an, as an extension. So mine is already here. So we can just go there and open it. So when you open it and then you can just uh, sign in. So I am already inside and then you do need to make sure that you select the test environment. So there's a main environment, which is Ethereum mainnet, and then we're going to use Robstein test network because remember we can't create in a, in a live environment. And then the next thing that you're going to do, you can just see the account details that are already there. So you can even add a token, like there's different tokens that you can add. You can also create, um, your wallet address already, uh, another wallet address, because you can have many wallet address in this account. As you can see, I have account one, I have account two. So uh, let's click account one. So you can see this is an Ethereum uh, wallet. So we can copy the address and then we'll move to step two. So this is the wallet address we're going to use. 
And then let's go to step number two. Step number two says go to testnet ether. So we're going to the site because we want to get Ethereum. It's like um guess it's like for guest fees, we will need to 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 open this so that we can get money or money that you're going to use, enters that you're going to use. So you enter the wallet address and remember this is a test address. So you cannot hack for those who are already thinking, oh, they're going to hack her account. So can you see that the money it's already sent? So when you go back to that um Tamask um wallet address, you would see that um, something was sent. So let's maybe refresh. Okay, it's probably being sent. Yes, can you see now it's refreshed? So there, we already received one Ethereum. So remember, this is not Ethereum you can withdraw because um, this is for test purposes for us to create this. So now that our MetaMask wallet, it's loaded with funds. So we're going to step number three. This is where we're going to code our, our coin. So in order to code your coin, you go to remix.enteram.co.org. So one thing that you need to note with this, you need to make sure that it's not secure because it is a test environment. So this is the environment where you're going to code your coin. And you don't need to get scared or maybe like think you're not a coder. Or maybe I'm just saying this because I'm a it is really easy. It is really easy. Like I'm going to show you this code that already exists. You don't need to worry about it. Maybe let me just show you the code first. So this is the code you're going to copy. This is the code, it's already in this link, so you don't need to worry about anything. So when you come here, you need to create your workspace first. So you just click there. And then let's just say maybe it's lindy.sol. And then you click OK. You need to make sure that it's dot .sol because and this IDE. So an IDE is an integrated development environment. So in, it's an environment given to software developers or programmers to use as an environment where you can compile your code and then you can deploy your code. And you can even do test cases to test your code. But don't worry about that. Those are technical things. All you need to do is to follow exactly what I'm going to say to you. So you click OK. And then our environment is created. And then, then you click a new file. And then that file as well, you can click it as maybe Lindy token dot sol. So obviously I would never give my token the name uh, Lindy token. This is just for test purposes for you guys to see. So now, as you can see, we do have an um, environment where we can paste our code. So you will then go to my blog and then copy the code. The code is already given to you. You don't need to worry about uh, copying the code. So you click, and please excuse the sound. Someone is showing, and I don't want to delay this video anymore. And these are the joys of not having an office. But one day things will be fine. I will be able to build my office. So now the code is copied here. So this is the contract that we are creating. The, it's, not, it's actually the interface where we are creating, which is an ERC20 interface. And then when you go there, and then there are set of functions like the safe meds, and then there's also code with Lindy. So I'll just change the name because these are the three things that you need to change. So the, the token, we will call it Lindy token. Remember, it's just a test. And then you move to, to the symbol. So when you, when you check here, you'll see that you will need to create the name, the symbol, and the decimal. So 18 decimals is the strong is strongly suggested default. Avoid changing it. So the decimals, it's it's um if a person wants to send money into your into a wallet and then you didn't you just specified one. That simply means that that person cannot send cents. Like if, imagine if Bitcoin didn't give us 18 decimals, we wouldn't send like maybe a portion or three percent of the of the coin wouldn't be able to buy the coin because they didn't put decimals, but because they have 18 decimals, it means we can buy even up to the smallest cent. We can buy with um, with different amounts. You can buy with $100, $20. You can still buy Bitcoin because of these decimals. And then let's just go uh, set to those values. And then it says top code with Lindy. And then I, just, I said it's going to be Lindy token that you change. And then the symbol, remember with Bitcoin, it's just B and then 
uh, with um, Litecoin, it's L. So our symbol, maybe I'll just say it's LT. LTN, maybe let's just say it's LTN. So when people go and then they'll say in LTN, it's a short name for Lindy Token. And then the 18, 18 decimals, we do not change. We do not change. So total supply is um, how many coins am I opening out there to be sold? So remember when you go to 18 decimals, you can just count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So from here, these, this is the total supply of your coin. So this is the total supply. These are the only coins that we're going. So if you want to increase, you can just add in a zero. So, but this is a total supply. And I think it is good to keep your total supply. Unlimited um, people, they don't have the agency to say that coin is running out, like we need to buy. So we need to keep those coins. So those are the three things that you need to change or four things because you change also the contract um, uh, name at the top as well. So you continue and then the rest is just code which you don't need to worry about. And then now we're done changing our code. Remember I said it's so easy because the code is already given. So um, this is an open source code. Open source means anyone can get the code, can see the code and, and, and create whatever they want to do with the code. So some codes encrypted, so you can't see the code, but then with open source codes, you, you can see the code. So now that we have our, our code um, written, so now we need to go to compiling the code. So when you come here, you need to select um, a, a good compiler, which is the same name here at the top. So for now, let's just look at what options are they so zero five zero so you can just scroll down until you see zero five zero because the compiler name needs to be exactly the same otherwise you'll have issues if you use maybe like a higher version or, or a lower version so we'll select that compiler and then you can then compile your code because it does say that your code your contract is not yet um compiled so you click compile and then it, it is done. And then when you see that your contract is created, which is here, and then you can just um, know that your, your contract is already compiled. And then you can see also as well the script that ran to show you that your compile, uh, your, your, your code is already compiled. And then the next step, we need to deploy the code and also that tick shows you that nothing is wrong with the code you can continue to deploying it okay so you need to select the environment so i've selected the injected three environment and then now it wants to connect to my um metamask address then i'll just select this and click next and then connect so now the connection is connected between um, Remix and also my MetaMask wallet. And then the next thing that I'll do is just to deploy the code is actually uh, my token. Let me change the contract and then I click deploy. So now it is connected to my uh, wallet. And then I just need to make sure that um, I do have some sort of money and then I will confirm the transaction. And then when I click confirm, my contract is created. And now I can go to, um, to EntherScan. So EntherScan, it's what shows you all the transactions that are happening. And then it, it does tell you this is a of standard test testnet transaction only so this is in blockchain and your coin is getting created so we just have to wait until your coin is created so now my contract is created and it does show from this wallet address and if you want to see if the wallet address is the same you can just go to metamask remember i show i told you that you can just go there and then as you can see the address it does have ox 0068 and this is the wallet address so now our token is on uh, interim blockchain and it is successful remember whatever it's get added to blockchain you cannot change no one can change it so so now that our contract is created you can just see the name of the token the wallet address the token transferred this is the money that was transferred from this address this address just to confirm you can see it's coming from your 
MetaMask address. You can see that with 0x0068, 0x0068. And now this is your contract. So when you click this contract, there's few things that we need to do to like verifying. So as you can see as well, it shows you contact creator, this wallet address, and then it doesn't have a tech name. This is a token that you have created and the contact creation. And also 14 minutes ago, it, it was when it was created and then the contract. So now when you go to, this is just transaction. When you go to contract, we need to verify this contract. So you just click verify and publish. Okay, so now when we verify, you just select um, single type when it comes to the compiler type, the compiler version, remember it was 0 0.5. So you just scroll down um, and see 0 0.5 and that's what you will select because that's the compiler. If you don't remember um, where, I'll just show you now. And then with uh, the license type, we just select MIT license and then click continue. Just to show you um, the contract, um, the compiler version. Remember that at the top here, I showed you that you need to select um, 0 0.5. That's the, um, the version of this compiler. So now on this side, so now we need to um, confirm our source code. And then here we we'll just go to my website and then copy the code. Remember the code that we used in Remix? And then we'll just paste that code. And then you go down and click, I am not a robot. And then you verify and publish. Now that our token is created, but we do not have the name. As you can see, the name is not available. But then when you go to coins like uh, BNB on Enthascan, you can see that the profile has been edited. They've added um, the decimals, the official website, and then the social uh, profile. So when you click edit, once you go to production, which is the main test. So, cause remember now we're just learning how to create a token. I'll upload another video, which will show you how to deploy into main test. So what you will do, you will register an account and then you will log in and then you will uh, update your details and upload your picture. So when I talk about the picture, I'm talking about that picture we, we talked about, um, the one that I showed you, the one that I've created. So you can only do that when you go to production but you'll have to create an account. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you now know how to create your own token. And let's just go and practice. This is easy. It can literally take you less than 30 minutes to create this token. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification because uh, that's when the algorithm will recommend this video to more people and for the growth of this channel. Thank you so much for watching and do have yourself a wonderful day.